Another morning in the hidden leaf, and a fresh mission scroll lands in our hands. But this one's different. No chasing rogue ninjas, no ramen eating contests. This time, Kakashi Sensei says, you're gonna balance chakra using math. Sounds boring? Not when it's hidden inside numbers. All right, let's open this scroll together and see what the challenge is. You're given a range of integers, low to high, and the task is to count how many of these numbers are symmetric integers. Now, don't worry if that sounds cryptic. We'll decode it like true shinobi. Coming up, let's understand what symmetric integer even means. Okay, imagine the number 12 will 21. It has an even number of digits, four. We slice it right down the middle. Left side, one plus two equals three. Right side, two plus one equals three. Both halves have the same chakra sum. That's called a symmetric integer, chakra balanced across both sides. Now look at 123, three digits. Can't split it cleanly. That's like trying to do a shadow clone jutsu with missing chakra, doesn't work. So rule one, the number must have an even number of digits. And rule two, the sum of left and right halves must match. All right, now that we get what a symmetric integer is, let's see how many of them exist in a real mission. Mission parameters. Start at 1200, end at 121230. We'll scan every number in this range, like patrolling the village one house at a time. If we spot a symmetric chakra signature, we count it. Let's break it down. 1200, one plus two equals three, and zero plus zero equals zero, imbalance. 11203, both have sum to three, a perfect match. 1221, same thing. One plus two equals three, two plus one is three. Chakra harmony. We keep scanning till we reach 1230, and when we're done, we find four symmetric integers. Nice. Okay, okay. All this splitting and summing sounds a bit annoying, right? But trust me, it's not that troublesome. Let me break it down the Shikamaru way. We'll loop through all the numbers from low to high. For each number, we turn it into a string. Why? Because slicing digits is way easier when they're strings. If it has an odd number of digits, just skip. We can't slice that evenly. If even, we take the left half and the right half, calculate their digit sums. If they match, we count it. Think of it like measuring chakra flow in both arms. If both sides are equal, mission passed. We start with a function, give it the range. It gives you the count. We'll keep a count to track how many symmetric integers we find. Loop through each number in the range, one by one, convert to string. That's how we'll split digits and check its length. Odd number of digits, chakra unbalanced, skip. Now, time to calculate the chakra sum of each half. Subtracting zero, here converts the character digit to its number form. Left and right chakra collected. If both chakra sides match, add to the count. And finally, we return the total. Mission complete. Let's take 12 to 21 and walk through it. Length is four, even, so valid. Left half, one plus two equals three. Right half, two plus one equals three. Both sides match, so this one gets counted. Now let's talk about time complexity, but don't worry, I'll keep it simple. We go through n numbers in total. For each one, we do at most five digit checks. So time complexity is big O of n times d, where d is the number of digits, at most five. And space, we just use a few variables. So that's big O of one, constant. So that's it, symmetric integers. Another weird but fun math nin mission. If your code chakra is balanced, you pass. Next time, we might explore real shadow clones in software form. Till then, eat some ramen, write clean code, and keep that chakra in sync.